Hello guys, welcome to your third Python programming tutorial. This is probably the most important tutorial thus far because it's going to be asking for your user's input. Now, if you don't know what an input is, basically, whenever, whatever website you go on or whatever website you used to go on, pretty much every website or every program asks for a user's input in some way or another. For instance, asking for your password, asking for to create your password, whatever you put in, that's you're inputting your information. Therefore, you're inputting it. It's pretty self-explanatory. So without any further mumbling, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now there are two ways to input something. There's the average input, which is oops, not in tut, input, and there is raw input. Now the newbie answer is input is bad. Don't use it. But to give you basically a little bit more of an explanation, um, input, whatever you put in it, whatever whatever thing you put in it I'm trying to explain this whatever number you put in there it will evaluate it so if you put something that is can be turned into a number it will display that number does that make any sense if you have any questions about it you can ask me in the description I will not be using input instead I'm going to be using raw input the reason I use raw input is because is because I don't know why I just stopped there it turns everything into a string therefore you can print it out and then do everything you need all right, so we're going to create a basic variable, and it's going to be named x. And actually, we'll name this food. Food is equal to raw input my, or strings. String, add, make sure to add quotation marks and close your parentheses. My favorite food is, all right, now. So we've created a variable, and it's going to be asking for the user's input by asking them what my favorite food is. Well, okay, they're going to print out what their favorite food is. So print food. It's That's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? All right. Let's just say maybe we wanted to add drink. So equals raw input. So we're going to just add the same thing. My favorite drink is. All right. And now we're going to print out print um, actually you don't actually have to print you can just put food plus drink and that's gonna display both um, whatever you put and whatever you put but just because we want to make it nice we're gonna do print my favorite food is and then space plus food plus more strings of text I know this is getting confusing uh, my and my favorite wait a minute let's add a space so that way it's nice and my favorite food or drink my bad drink is and then plus drink all right so what we're gonna we basically did is we made a new variable and it's asking for the user's input by asking my favorite food is blank all right so then we're gonna print out food so whatever the user puts in is what is gonna be displayed now we did the same thing with drink but instead, we printed out my favorite food is, and we added uh, the variable. But you can always add a variable to a string, all right, just so you know. So my favorite food is plus food. So it's basically whatever the user put in for his food. And my favorite drink is whatever the user put in for his drink. Now to show you, um, remember you can hit F5 as a hotkey to run your program. You can hit the OK. And my favorite food is, let's just do beef, all right. You see it printed out beef. My favorite drink is cola. So my favorite food is beef and my favorite drink is cola. It's pretty pretty easy, right? All right, now to go over this one more time, just because I think it's very important that you understand what you're doing, we're going to do password equals raw input. Uh, please type in a password. Uh, I do recommend that you go test do this all on your own without looking at my screen after like just create scenarios on your own after this video so password 2 equals raw input please retype your password alright so what this user is going to do is you're going to type a password and it's going to retype the password alright so what we're going to do now is we're going to print or we're not going to print what am I doing <laughs> We don't want to print the password. Instead, what we'll do is we'll do just a basic 
your password is safe in the arms of a penguin. Alright, and now we're gonna print. Just kidding. Print. <laughs> I'm just having fun here. The penguin is a liar. He told everyone that your password is plus password. Pretty self explanatory. Alright, let's run this thing. Alright, so please type in a password. My password is cow. Please retype your password. Cow. Alright, your password is safe in the arms of a penguin. Just kidding. The penguin is a liar. He told everyone that your password is cow. Alright, so we basically just made our own, you know, little thing. Now, I do recommend again that you go and work on your own little scenarios just so you get the idea of raw input. You can, however, look at some input and figure out what input does. I really don't like it. Um, just to show you, look, uh, G equals input. Uh, and then we'll do 70. All right, so it's going to input the number 70. It's not going to ask for your input. See, it's um, just 70. All right, that's basically what input does, but that's not important. Anyways, like, comment, and uh, comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you like the video, and subscribe if you want some more. It's just that easy. Alright, so see you guys in the next tutorial.